Hi everyone, my name is Emma Tversky and I'm on the core Angular team at Google and I'm here to talk about our newest release, Angular v17, and the part I'm most excited for, Angular.dev. Angular.dev is the future home for Angular developers and development uh, and it includes an entirely rethought about way to learn, uh, read, really get started with Angular. So I'd love to walk you through all of the changes that you see on the screen and point out some of my favorite parts. Um, but make sure to head to the documentation yourself at angular.dev uh, and feel free to explore and let me know on Twitter or wherever what your favorite part is. So uh, as you can see here, we have the new documentation up um, and we have a very fancy uh, homepage animation. Um, so if you're looking for your uh, CTO or somebody to look at what Angular has to offer, we have the, all of that uh, and all of your marketing jazz, but we also really wanted to rethink how we're teaching Angular, how we're letting people learn the framework or come back to the framework. Um, and a lot of that is done around building an embedded playground. So right on the homepage here, uh, if you were a part of AngularJS, this is actually an Easter egg, but one of the things that made AngularJS so successful when there were no other frameworks uh, on the landscape, and this was like the framework idea didn't even really exist, um, they had this demo on their homepage of uh, this idea of like showing what the power of a framework can do uh, that included like adding a name. So we have that, um, but we took that idea and went a little further. So if you go into the docs section, um, we have your good old what is Angular. You can make sure to make sure you know what the latest is that we offer, um, our features that power development, our uh, ways to make sure you're shipping with confidence, the things that help Angular scale from both those startup companies using us all the way up to the enterprise application. But then once you get past that, um, I think what's really exciting is we've cut out all of the things that we think are essential to learning Angular and put them in a new essentials section. And everything in this one little nested subsection is all about making sure that if you know nothing about Angular, if you're brand new, if you just came out of a boot camp, or um, if it's been five years since you've really come to the Angular landscape, Reading these pages is all that we really expect as a team that you need to know to be able to go to a conference and have a conversation with someone about Angular, to be able to like jump into Angular code and know what's happening. Uh, and that focuses on our component model, um, the way that you manage dynamic data um, and the component data and state, uh, dynamic template rendering. So what does an Angular template look like? Uh, conditionals and loops, which include Angular's brand new v17 approach to built in control flow. Uh, this is one of those features that we're really excited about that led to um, creating this documentation. Uh, user interaction and sharing logic. Um, so like even without knowing the Angular terms for all of these things, these are the things that frameworks really have the power to do on the web. Uh, so we wanted to make sure that, you know, we hear it. Angular is hard to learn for some people. Uh, and we think part of that is our documentation. And so we've really made sure to create a quick getting started journey. The next steps from here uh, are obviously you can dive into our in-depth guides. So if you're listening to all of this and you're already a big Angular fan, uh, know that by separating those essentials out, we've gotten way more in-depth in our in-depth guides. So we've completely rewritten our components guide. Um, and we're slowly going through and plan to rewrite a lot of our additional guides. We have brand new guidance on server-side rendering, on build time pre-rendering, on hydration, on deferrable views, on all of these sort of things that make Angular different and differentiate themselves from other frameworks, uh, as well as a big focus on performance, right? Our team's focus for v17 and the last couple versions has been on developer experience and performance. And so we want to make sure that we're documenting all of that really in in-depth ways here. Um, we also have a whole section on the Angular CLI that really shows the power of that and all of the other tooling and best practices that you can expect. Um, outside of our documentation, which is great, 
Uh, we have what I think is the most exciting and largest change on the docs, which is our tutorials and playground. So like I said earlier, um, one of the motivating factors was helping people learn Angular. And we know that a lot of the barrier to learning a framework on the web is getting like your local node version right to be able to like clone a GitHub repo and get started on your like local code editor. And you shouldn't have to learn a code editor and node and the terminal and all of these other things to be able to start building with a framework. And so that's why we built a local uh, embedded tutorial on uh, the web. And so here you have, oops, let's see if I can restart it. Here we have an entire Angular tutorial. Um, okay, here we go. Here we go. We have an entire uh, tutorial on the web that allows you to learn the, in, the core steps to learning Angular. So we have 22 steps. Uh, at launch. And these are all of the things that we think you would need or want to know about learning Angular. And each one is a bite-sized step. So I can jump to, you know, control flow is new in V17. And I know Angular and I know how to write a component. So I'm just going to jump to the control flow steps because this is brand new. And I can learn this step. I can make the changes in the code. And if I reveal the answer, I can see that um, I learned that new step. So you can do one of these tasks, you can do all of them, you can do sequentially, you can jump around, but you can do, do all of this in the browser to make sure that you can learn Angular without knowing all of the other stuff to get started. So if you just wanna come back to Angular, see what we're doing, see what V17 is, um, then this is a really great way to do it. Um, so at launch, like I said, we have these 22 steps of sort of the core tasks that you might accomplish or be asked to do in an Angular application. Completing all of these takes about an hour and will teach you everything you need to know for Angular. And then we also have a way to build your full first application in Angular. Um, this is a tutorial that's meant to be done locally, but does work in the browser up to, I think, step eight or something like that. Um, obviously, you can't add routing in an embedded iframe, um, but it, you're able to build this housing application. Uh, you learn about components, about reuse, about a lot of those things in that first tutorial, just in a more application-based way. Uh, and then we took that infrastructure and we also built a playground. So, uh, you know, if you don't want to do a specific task or be taught a specific lesson and you just want to play around with Angular, with V17, with Control Flow, with all of the features that we've released this week, um, you can head to our playground and you can build um, any sort of thing. Uh, the default experience is this very fun angle game where you try and guess uh, accurately. Okay, I didn't do that well. But you try and, uh, let's see, uh, you try and reach that angle. Um, and you can learn, you know, this code specifically calls out things like signals, like, all of the new things in V17, if you want to see a demo of an app built with V17's features, you can also select templates. So for example, if you just want to start with a hello world um, and get started, then this is a great way to, again, play with these Angular features directly in the browser. Um, beyond that, we've revisited our reference material. You can go ahead and look through the featured most common APIs or all of the APIs on the web. Um, including those new block syntax, but also things like uh, the date pipe or the router, all of that stuff. We've reformatted and made easier to read in a reference material way. We've rewritten our roadmap uh, and all of that other jazz that you'd expect to see in reference material. So uh, that is everything that you might have in the angular.dev new documentation. And one last thing I want to call out that you may have noticed this whole time is uh, the documentation isn't just new in terms of its content, but it also features a new look and feel for Angular. So we've taken this opportunity and Angular's momentum over the last couple versions to really rethink what Angular looks like on the modern web. The original Shield logo uh, was created about 13 years ago for AngularJS, and it was a reference to the HTML5 and CSS3 logos at the time. Um, and Angular joined as that third of like the power of the web. And at that point, 13 years ago, you know, the modern web was 
a very different landscape than it is today. And while we still feel like we fit into like that shield like uh, persona of, you know, HTML, CSS, and then frameworks really like adding to power on the web, we feel like Angular has really gained momentum and evolved since then and now looks and feels like something else, right? Our recent velocity include things like signals and a new reactivity model. Um, Built-in control flow has made us a significantly faster and more performant framework. You know, we're partnering with Chrome to make sure that we are bringing like lightning speed to your core web vitals. And all of those things together from SSR and SSG and the things that we already have done and the things we have planned for the future deserve a look and feel that is more modern and represents this new era of Angular. So this is the new logo. Um, if you're interested and use the Angular brand, you can head to the footer and there's actually a full press kit. So we've open sourced all of our brand guidelines and logos if you are interested in talking about Angular or rebranding with us, if you run an Angular meetup, um, if you're going to an Angular conference, uh, all of those groups are rebranding with us and using these guidelines. So we would love to make sure that you're adapting the logo um, along with us. And yeah, welcome to angular.dev and the future of Angular's renaissance. This program is presented by This.Labs, a framework agnostic consulting firm helping enterprises realize their technical goals through staff augmentation, consulting, project management, on-demand subject experts, training, and other professional services. Find out more at this.labs.com.